Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, and you probably are, I'm Michui, and I'm on a weight loss journey. So the other day, I noticed that one of my videos has double the amount of views as all my others, and it is the pumpkin pancake recipe episode, where I also discuss a little bit of my findings on Copilot, and I'm not really sure if it's the pancakes or the Copilot part that drew views, but either way, it was probably pretty disappointing for those who did tune in for that. As far as the pumpkin pancake recipe goes, I tried something, it failed. For the co-pilot part, I want to direct you guys over to someone who actually does fit reviews. And I'm probably going to butcher the last name, but it is Justina Orcole. I'm going to put the link in the description. Along with that, I'm also going to put another channel's link down below that I think is really interesting. So I have two minutes to finish this up real quick because Steven has calls all day long. So for this morning, I'm just going to have my smoothie, eggs, and sausage. I need to clean my makeup brushes because I have been breaking out and just gonna dot all my I's and cross all my T's and hopefully that might help it. I need to get in the row machine and the treadmill today. And later on, I have one sweet potato left, so I'm gonna try air fryer fries. All the stuff that happens in between, I'm just gonna have to wait and see how the day goes. But that's all the time I have for now, so I will see you guys later. The only chores I have to do today is clean my makeup brushes and sweep the house. And I am really thankful for that. Even though it was a small simple thing and it was resolved, finding the dog yesterday was actually quite stressful for me. Making sure that the dog's information was out there and where he could be located, worrying about if we'll find the owner, and worrying if I was doing the right thing by taking it in. I mean, could the dog have found his way home on his own and then he wouldn't have had to be stressed out being stuck in the garage for a few hours? Would the owner not have even noticed that the dog was missing in the first place? And as someone who constantly is worrying about day-to-day -day life, adding an extra factor into it is enough to throw my whole day off. But in the end, I just have to remind myself, it is the choice I chose because I was worried about it getting hit by a car or wandering off further and being out in inclement weather. And that's all in the past. Today is today. Being high strung constantly is gonna get me nowhere. But yes, I am very thankful today's gonna be an easy day. It'll just kinda help me reset my mind and body into a more relaxed state. Ooh. So, I am brain dead today. So, mm, so if you guys have noticed, I enjoy playing with makeup, but because I wouldn't consider myself very good at it, I often tend to forget about the tools used for makeup, and it is important to keep the brushes clean. I'm gonna use Dawn dish soap, a Tupperware, and some hot water dunk them in, swish them around a bit, rinse them, let them dry. That's my process. If you guys have a better one, let me know in the comments. <sighs> but let's get this done, shall we? Here's my soapy bucket of water.
We're gonna leave those there for five minutes and then come back and rinse them. We just need to wait five days for these to dry. Why do makeup brushes take forever to dry? How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. I'm gonna try meditating. I don't know why, but I'm not feeling very peppy. I'm feeling very disconnected, I guess is the best way to say it. I don't feel very talkative. I feel very much like I wanna go back in bed and sleep for a few hours. I tried doing my makeup, doing my hair, trying different outfits than the normal ones to kind of just break up a little bit of a routine and see if I could have a little fun with today, but it's just not getting me there. I'm having a very hard time talking to you guys with a cohesive thought. So I'm gonna try and meditate for a little bit and I always fail at this because I just don't have a brain that can rest and relax for a second. What happens is, is I start thinking and then I think and think, 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 and I'm like, oh, I should have done this this one time, I should have done this this one time, which is the complete opposite of what I need today. But it really is the only thing I can think of to kind of brain reset at this point. So I'm going to attempt it. I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna try 30 minutes, see how it goes. There's a lot of water talk and now I just have to pee. As you are in this beautiful place, visualize a gentle, warm one. I am just getting a lot more anxious sitting here. So, uh, you know, I, I gave it a, a good old one, two try. I'm just gonna take some of my anti-anxiety pills. Okay, so quick update. I told Steven, hey, I'm feeling very anxious. I kind of just feel like I need to get out of the house today. And so after he's done with work today, we're gonna go to the library. I still have my Multnomah County library card from like five, six years ago and have been meaning to get a library card here. So that's perfect. It takes care of a chore and I get to go look at books. The big library in Portland was gorgeous. It had like three staircases and some beautiful structure. So I'm really excited to see what Bellingham has. But that gives me motivation to get done with my chores and I'm already feeling a little bit more relaxed. It could be though that I took my medication or it could be a mixture of both. Either way, I'm really excited. I have a library card. So I got the library card, but unfortunately I didn't get any books while I was there. Even though their catalog said all of them were in stock, every single book I went to find was not in its location. I'm thinking someone 
who is a mental doppelganger as me, is doing the exact same thing and was not only trying to find books on YouTube, but also calorie counting and weight loss cookbooks. <laughs> Very strange, but I put them all on hold and they're gonna be delivered to the Ferndale Library. So as soon as I get a notification that they have my books ready for me, we'll just pop on over and pick them up. And then I'll show you the books I chose. One was about calories in, calories out, and the other was 300 calorie recipes. So now that my chores are done, my exercises are done, and I got a little bit of outside mental stimulation, which has helped me reduce some of my stress, I am super hungry. So the plan is some shrimp and some air fried sweet potatoes. I'm gonna pop some of this New Orleans Cajun seasoning on top of the shrimp, and I think it's gonna pair perfectly with sweet potato fries. I have 371 calories left. The sweet potatoes so far have been ranging from 210 to 230 calories, not including the avocado oil, which I have learned to use sparingly. And the shrimp has been averaging about 100 to 150 calories. So I think I'm gonna be safe. I'm not gonna be measuring to make sure I only get those 370 calories. I'm gonna measure them so I know what calories I'm putting in. But if I go over or under, I'm not that concerned. I've been keeping track and I am on track for my weekly deficit of 3,500 calories. So as per usual, I will prep this food, show it to you, and then probably say goodnight. Okay, so the avocado oil was 43 calories because I used a teaspoon. The shrimp was 108 calories. And the sweet potato, I'm a little confused if I should have weighed it before. It's 5.2 ounces after air frying it, which is 127 calories. That leaves me with 93 left to go. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of ketchup for the fries. That's gonna be 20 calories. So 70 calories left, I'll have a cup of blueberries. I mean, knowing what you like is important. All right, I already know the shrimp is good. You guys know the shrimp is good. Tastes like a french fry. Ooh, but a sweet one. I love it. Mm-hmm. And with another success under my belt, I'm gonna end this and I'll see you guys tomorrow.